Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Count Christo and this is the Roman Reclamation. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Let's get started. So, you guys, stop that. I'll go kill them. We just need to break one of these forts and then we can, we can rush in and occupy a whole bunch of their land. The fact that you're begging for peace means that maybe I'll be able to peace you out. Yes, indeed. You can go. And then the peace wheel we're going to take from Milan. Firstly, we're going to loot the bejesus out of France, partly because it's fun, partly because I like getting all the money, partly because it's a good time-killing measure, because the peace deal we're planning on here is a little bit on the insane side. Um, it's a huge peace deal, 108 aggressive expansion. We're going to get a coalition of uh, a lot of people. A lot of people indeed. Lambert, a uh, person I've done collabs with and a YouTuber that I am I'm friends with, made an excellent suggestion a while ago, which is that you should be able, there should be a pop-up saying, these people countries can join a coalition against you, and these countries you can join a coalition against. It's an excellent idea. I really hope you can get Paradox to put in some new, uh, some new alerts, because some of them, there are some really good ones that people are suggesting, both on the unofficial Facebook page and on the official Facebook page. I asked people on the official Facebook page to, to make suggestions. This force would unfortunately die if the whole French f force uh, engaged it, so I will not do that. You'll renounce their claims. You're, not gonna, you're, you're offering me no land? You idiots. Of course I'm not going to take that. Oh, I'm going to take the fight here. And I'm in hostile territory, so I can't put a leader in. It's going to be a tough one. If I don't win this siege right now, I can't, I can't help. So... Let's put everything on this siege, including a siege leader. We instantly got that stack wipe done, which means I can now put the leader here. Hey, and we won the siege. Oh, France. <laughs> you poor, poor boy. You thought you had me there. Oh, some Catholic fanatics rising in a convenient spot. Two convenient spots. Oh, and Bohemia, I never actually finished you off. Sorry about that. Very rude of me. It's not kind to play with your food, after all. I'm just going to catch this army with a weaker one so we can pile more in afterwards. Intrigues. Administrative advisor leaves. No. No. Ten legitimacy. That's fine. It ticks back nice and quickly. In our current state. Point one? What? That can't have been a full army. Please tell me this wasn't ever a full army. Well, I'm going to retreat it. It wasn't a full army, but there were a lot in it. It's very good that they didn't all just die. Okay, obviously that's way too many right there, but we won the battle, it's excellent. Spread out, prioritize any forts you can reach. Got to free up movement, movement is key. As I said a couple of episodes ago, it's excellent to free up as many avenues of movement as possible to give yourself the maximal number of strategical options at any one time. Kind of an obvious statement, said rather over the toply over the toply. I don't think that's an adjective. Um, but it's very true. Would you just stack like them already? I should put a fort down here and as well. Oh, there's a fort here. That's okay. Okay, stack right finally, please. Thank you. You guys can go to the boats. We'll have you over here and join the fight. Manpower? Note, not even really trending down. We... <laughs> Holy Christ! <laughs> We gained 3,600 manpower each month. That's ridiculous. In case you're wondering. That's obscene. I will take yearly prestige. Mostly because I want the next one. Aggressive expansion impact. That's going to really help with our next, uh, our next peace deal. A really damaged unit can stay behind because they need to uh, get a bit of R&R cover some men. So our men are nice and spread out, which obviously makes them juicy targets for the French. But I'm not convinced the French have the chops to really go for us. And uh, even if they do, I think we'd probably just win, because we could consolidate faster than our morale would break. What's the equivalent of let it be known that the planet broke before the guard did? The fort, I guess? It's not really, there isn't really a good comparison, is there? Nice again. It's the same province. What are the odds? What are the odds? 
We're firing in the same province again, out of all our provinces. Well, I can tell you. It's one in uh, 399 times one in 399. <laughs> low, in other words. Extremely low. That's mind-blowingly low. There must be some kind of mistake. That must be a bug or something. Because that is astronomically unlikely. Don't like this song, because it has words. No songs with words, please, game. Do, 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 do. Okay, just keep sieging. Never stop sieging. The loot goes rolling. On. Hurrah, hurrah, etc, etc. Alright, Milan wants peace, but I don't want peace. How much loot we got out of France so far? Eh, a bit. Maybe like 600. So let's see how much we were at three. We were at 6,500 when we started the war with. When we started looting France. Milan, white piece of Buscovy. This event is broken. It, uh, it keeps thinking that your enemy are your subjects. And I understand the mindset, <laughs> but uh, it's a bit annoying. Excuse me. Ah, oh, <laughs> that input lag, man. It's rather intense sometimes. Do, do they elect Bohemia? So they can elect heretics. Interesting. Which means they can elect me, right? No, I'm ineligible. Why am I not eligible? I'm a woman. Let's see when we're a man. Let's see if uh, if we become eligible. Because that would be pretty funny, right? If we got ourselves elected the H to the HRE. We could make this our border and then also own all of this land <laughs> as as a puppet. Do what Rome never did and break the Roman tribes. Sorry, the, the Germanic tribes. Through diplomacy, no less. Well, we might go in and vassalize a bunch of the electors, but... Diplomacy! We'll call it diplomacy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hello, France. You better run. Because I'm coming north. I'm like the Goon Swarm Federation. I'm coming north. <laughs> I think I'd take the admin, actually. Our next one is uh, is fairly soon. So, what's our next idea group? I was thinking about um, popular religion. I think we should actually take empire for the aggressive expansion impact and the states and the admin efficiency. Yeah, I think we'll take empire ideas next. What are the other options? There's 10% here, which is better. But there's no improved relations. Are there any other improved relations? I don't think there are any in like the whole thing. Doesn't humanists have improved relations? It does in vanilla. It's one of the things that makes it so overpowered. But no, it doesn't. Hmm. There's no more improved relations I can see in the whole thing. And are there any that we haven't unlocked right now? There is democracy, or rather representative as it's actually called. We can take a military idea group, but that just seems kind of needless. <laughs> I think empire ideas would be good. It's, it's just not appropriate for us not to have empire ideas, really, isn't it? Just doesn't make a lick of sense. Do, 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 do. Let's focus on the forts for reasons that I have explained too many times to do again now. 100% war score now. Islam is in decline. Glorious spread of Orthodox now connected here. And of course all this region controlled by Orthodox countries. So Orthodox now con controls easily more land with all of this region here controlled by Orthodox nations. We control easily more land than the rest of Christendom put together. Uh, not counting... Hey, they weren't reformed. Uh, Portugal often seems to go reformed. Uh, not counting New World. It might be a sufficient... Yeah, and look at the size of that name. It looks like there's sufficiently large New World holdings that maybe Catholicism might even have an edge in terms of land mass. Population, though, you know Orthodox is where it's at. Are you in this province? I think you are. The strangely saved M&T province is making it difficult to see. Rush the forts. Rush B. <laughs> do, do, do. 
Le Monzi is done. So what's the next war? <laughs> I know we're about to take like a stupendous quantity of aggressive expansion, but, but, but what's the next war? I reckon. Probably Castile. And then we don't put them in coalition range. Although this peace deal will probably put them in coalition range, honestly. You see Castile in that list? Actually, I don't think it does. Okay, so good. We'll walk a steel and then not put them in range. That seems like the uh, the smart play. So I'll probably find a way to convince myself that we don't need to worry about putting a steel in range and just do it anyway. <laughs> the thing is, when France doesn't have their um, noble levies raised, they're, they're not that strong. In fact, they're pathetically weak. Let me speak in less uncertain terms. Probably because they've got all kinds of autonomy. Mm, fair amount. Not a, not a colossal amount. So we don't need to take this tech. I think I'll keep storing admin until we actually get near the cap, though. Because I do want to take Empire Ideas, which is, of course, an administrative idea group. So that will start... Uh, that will eat into a substantial number of, of our points. How much does an idea cost us right now? 306. And, of course, there's 7 per idea group. So, what is that? Uh... 1,900-ish? 2,100? I think it's 2,100. I'm just going to check. What is it? Do, do, do. 306 times 7. Yeah, 2,100. I thought so. Should have had faith in myself. Alright, send them... Oh, we missed one down here. Send them in north. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, and go for these forts. Possible. Beautiful. Milan, of course, wants out, so we're probably going to cause some serious province trauma by keeping Milan occupied this whole time. But they haven't even got mild in most of the provinces yet, so maybe we have nothing to worry about. You should cause more province trauma when you besiege a province that's not your accepted culture and religion. That's a. Um, <laughs> sounds very self congratulatory, but that's a really good idea. <laughs> because obviously, you know, if your people don't respect the locals, they're much more likely to uh, be unpleasant occupiers. Like how the uh, German occupation of France was so much more pleasant, not that it was pleasant, than the German occupation of, uh, of Russia. And you know, the relative good treatment of uh, Allied prisoners compared to Russian prisoners and all that kind of stuff. Get them, get them. Nice. Do, 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 do. This is one of those classic tunes. Right, I would like to call this and this. this, and this. Let's just do it this way. Okay, we've got them all over here. Down here. Let's get them done. Can't do that because there's the tiniest bit of unrest. That's alright, I'll be gone soon. How's unrest in Muscovy? Pretty under control. Coring? Pretty much done. Good work, Muscovy. We'll take your cores back for you soon, don't worry. Just right now, got a slightly higher priority in the form of the total annihilation of the French. Actually, this army can go north. Maybe we don't have a better priority right now. <laughs> Maybe we could do it immediately. Do -do -do. The plague cometh from whence does it come? Please, not one of my big cities. Looks like not one of my big cities. Excellent. Well, in that case, we will take some relatively middling plague measures. 4% chance they get... Uh, well, we can try. They relent. Good. They still lose 7 loyalty, even though they relented. Which makes no sense to me. Hmm. Very strange. Hmm. Okay, well, I am unfortunately going to call it... No, I'll just edit. Okay, after a brief little bit of editing and in fact a night's sleep we have returned to the wonderful world of the Roman reclamation I am Count Christo, thank you ever so much for joining me so uh, I finished the French war because just sieging French provinces for like another 20 minutes didn't seem like that much fun so I just skip over that bit and then we go we've won unfortunately our plan to go to war with the Netherlands isn't gonna work because they've revoked their guarantees again I swear they somehow know my plans so here is the final total for our loot <laughs> Ooh, nice 
16,300 ducats. So, we will piece out. Do we want to piece France out separately? Because I want this land so we have land connection to Iberia. That's going to take 35 if we do it that way. This is the piece deal I was looking at. And if we do this, it's still the same amount of risk expansion. But if we do it this way, we, we spend uh, Diplo, 150 Diplo. Diplo, <laughs> Diplo. We, the, that's not useful, that's not useful, that's pretty useful. So I'm not in a tearing hurry to get Diplo. I do want the 10% war score cost reduction, don't get me wrong. But I think we will separate piece out France. Also, because we can force them to take some loans, which is always nice. Grab this land. Uh, do I want a vassal feed in France? I probably do, if there's any good ones. We should vassalize Savoy at some point. There's, there's a very small Aquitaine area down here. Probably not worth it. Don't really... Uh, we'll probably do Brittany at some point later. But there don't really seem to be many good vassal feed opportunities. All the, Burgund the Burgundian cores have gone, obviously, because they formed the Netherlands. So yeah, I think we'll go with uh, we'll go with this. All your cash. War reps. Sure, cancel a core. Why not? Uh, Another tree with Milan. Sure. And of course, hand it over to Orthodox priests. So there we go. Beautiful, contiguous connection to Iberia. Going to allow us to do some horrible, horrible things to steal in this episode. Oh, right, and we're at war with the Papal States as well. We will deal with them in the next peace conference. You guys will move down here. Oh, so this isn't actually the final loot total, because we should declare war on Iberia before we end this war, so we don't lose our um, our noble levies. The Master Separatists? I swear I killed them. Oh, no, I'm on the way too. Okay. It's fine, though. We've got that fort, so no, uh, no extra Separatism being caused by our rebels. Don't want to take that province. I'll take your cash, please. Beautiful. You can come on down. Okay, so now, war with Iberia. We have Roman imperialism, of course. Uh, we do border them in the south, but they have total rebel control down here, so I think we'll just focus on looting down Iberia itself. It's probably not very sensible to loot all this region, because we're going to take it relatively soon, but I don't know. I feel like our wealth, is, uh, concentrating our, the wealth of this area into our hands is, is fine. Seems like a perfectly good good thing to do. Oh, we got a uh, 100 tradition general who turned out way worse than he could have done, but oh well. More with you, uh, Stitten and Savoy. We'll do Roman imperialism. A declare. We have to punch through this fort, but with a level 4 siege, we are in very good shape to get that done. And obviously our trade fleet will annihilate any of theirs that dare get put to sea. We will blockade the port just to speed this up. So now we can piece out Milan. And uh, the question is, do we go for this the huge peace deal? This is 100% of the remaining provinces in the Tyrrhenian node, plus 100% of the provinces we need for that mission. Pretty good. Coalition is uh, substantial. But honestly, big nations in there. France, Austria. Period. I think we'll be fine. I'll take cash. I'll take war reps. I'll take core cancellations. Yum. Yoink. And mission. Beautiful. Free cores. That's what we like to see. And look at that trade control. 99. What? Did I miss province? I didn't. How, what is this sorcery? <laughs> Let's let a month take go. And then we'll, uh, we'll review the trade situation. Create an army for our nation. <laughs> That's okay. More conversions. No, actually, no conversions available right now. Let's check out where we can core. Get some of these started. Good. This is way too many forts. Um, don't need these two. I don't think. We'll keep one here. We'll want to build a big fort wall. Well, actually, no, we don't want to keep this one. We don't need the Venice one anymore either. Well, we, we'll keep that one actually just to protect Venice. And the same reasoning for this one. Seems good. Alright, you guys come back and blockade here, please. Uh, yeah, go repair the damaged ships. 
detached blockade, and the rest can go protect trade once more. Marvellous. Fantastic. Well, that was a very good peace deal. Beautiful. Text spreading out. No more Roman Italy. Now just Empire of the Romans. Gorgeous. That's what we like to see. So if you one more war against Milan, one more against Austria, and we'll have our Alpine border the way we want it. Fabulous. So I'm hoping for another conquest mission. Maybe a conquest of this region would be ideal. <laughs> you know, take uh, take everything in the Barcelona province and give us free cause. That'd be great. So coalition, you know, they're peeved. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they're not pleased with me. I, I am aware of this. We can't take much land from Castile this war because we don't want Castile in and we don't want the Netherlands in. But yeah, we could we could take this lot, I think. Ooh, pardon me. Do do do. Not many rebels rising right now. And we're going to get even more loot for our glorious rampage through here. Castile's pretty rich. Ugh. Oh, I'll lose the diplo points. Um, so, oh, there we go. 100%. <laughs> so we can move those ships, of course. Fantastic. 100% control of the Serenian Sea. We turn 86.8 into 120 ducats. Beautiful. Beautiful amount of trade goodness. So you guys can go protect in maybe Iberia. See how much money we can drag out of Iberia. Currently dragging zero with my guys deployed. Maybe still zero because we don't have... Yeah, we don't have ships in the right place. Only 11%? Oh, they haven't arrived yet. Okay. The level 3 50% production efficiency guy. That sounds pretty sweet. I will take him. Oh, her. Excuse me. Nice. I should be spying on uh, on Spain rather than Austria right now. I'm doing spy on Milan either. With all this spy network on Austria, can I get a claim? Can indeed. Perfect timing to stop that spying then. Uh, you guys, just stay over there in case of rebels. We could do with destroying uh, Naples. Naples has actually fallen in a personal union under Hungary. Interesting. Interesting. We've converted the heretics of Mesopotamia. Now let's core it. Great. I realized, by the way, when I was going back and doing some editing, uh, that I never finished my thought about what Arumba was saying about world conquests. He said they were easy, but they just take a lot of effort. Now, I don't mean to be a stick in the mud here. <laughs> but it, if something takes a lot of effort, it's not easy. <laughs> what he means is it takes a lot of time, uh, rather than a lot of skill. And this is a fairly popular opinion amongst some EU4 players, Lambert, uh, and I think it's, it's garbage, it's not true. It is difficult to do a world conquest. Do you know how I can prove it? No one who's bad at the game can do a world conquest. Which is not possible. It's not massively challenging to do a world conquest. But if you do it as, as any country, it's not massively challenging. But there are some countries as whom it is seriously challenging to do it as. Any non-European country, it's relatively challenging to do a world conquest. I think people belittle it because they feel... Uh, annoyed that some people belittle them for having not done it, even when they certainly could. So Lambert, for example, could do a world conquest, chooses not to, and then because he's annoyed that people say, oh, well, he probably hasn't done it, so he's less good, and he doesn't like the like, perception that he might be less good because he hasn't done a world conquest, he gets he says doing a world conquest is easy, which is a load of crap. <laughs> it's not easy. It takes a hell of a lot of time. You have to deal with Christ tons of rebels and do lots of coring management and vassal feeding and all kinds of good stuff. But yeah, anyway, that's the continuation of the thought which you guys heard begun like days ago. <laughs> so we just continue to rampage through Iberia, getting all that sweet, sweet loot. I do really enjoy looting in this mod because money is so valuable. Do do do. Do do do. There. I'll go over here. Excuse me. Thank you. A little bit of impact lag on the monthly ticks. To be expected, really. So, what can we actually take before Castile gets sufficiently peeved? A fair amount. 
There we go. Castile's in that one. But by the time the, the war's ended, they probably won't be. So that might be what we take. Is Catalonia a tag? No, Catalonia's not a tag in MNT, as far as I know. Maybe it's a formable. I don't know. We should rush the capital. Get that big siege started early. Do I want to bother blockading their whole coastline? Probably do. Let's, uh, let's get these guys on it. Oh yeah, so how much do we end up pulling out of Iberia? Yeah, none. Okay, so we'll come up with a better task for these guys once we finish with this war. Or perhaps just with the coast of this war. Since obviously at that point the uh, blockades will become redundant. Alright, moving here. You grab a siege leader. Go take out Castilla La Vieja. I think that's how you say it. Castilla La Vieja? La Vieja? La... Ah, something like that. <laughs> so I'm sorry I raised all your hopes about World Conquest. We're definitely not doing that this campaign. I think doing it as an Italian campaign would be uh, a much more sensible thing to do. Uh, obviously in that Italian campaign we won't form Rome because that would be a bit... <laughs> Retreading ground a bit too much, I think. Uh, you guys can just go protect in the western, I guess. We'll, we'll, we'll re-examine the trade situation in terms of where we want our boats in a moment here. We have total control over Egypt, right? I wasn't so dumb as to leave a whole bunch of Egypt uncontrolled, was I? A tiny little bit. It's 0.2%, that's fine. We could still do with... Wait, what am I lacking control here? Ah, oh, Shivran from downstream. Fair enough. One more word, Shivran will cripple their naval... Sorry, their trade power by taking Tabriz. <laughs> yeah, so World Conquest in Italy. What's the strategy? How do we, how do we vary it up? in order to make growth faster. Obviously, super high centralization is a must. Um, do we go republic or monarchy? I think, you know, lots of the Italian places are monarchies. Oh, sorry, are republics. Maybe we should shake it up a bit by being a, uh, a monarchy. Also, being a monarchy gives us access to all the wonderful, lovely fun that comes with the HRE. So what are you going here? Yes, good. I do love playing the HRE game. The thing about the HRE that I find is once, you know, when you're playing the HRE, you have like an, a, an extra mechanic. There's just more to the game when you're in the HRE. Proof relations with Lithuania. Why? Um, why do we, we don't care. The lion does not care what the lamb thinks of him. Um, I'll take burger. I'll take burger loyalty, please. Nice. And the greater is still not below 90, so we're, we're looking very good. Sorry, uh, greater. Greater loyalty is still not below 90, so we're looking pretty good there. If we smash in here, then we can send the good general to Granada. Nice. Stack wipe. Wow. These poor bastards being annihilated. Wait, I thought it said Castilla la Vieja, siege finish. Ah, oh, no. Castilla ne nueva. I don't know. You, by the way, remind me where my borders are going to be. Maybe not Zurich. And not here. Yeah, that looks good. But yeah, you are within the Imperial borders. As far as I'm concerned. So we'll take you. More aggressive expansion. Just don't put the Netherlands in. No, don't offer tribute. There we go. Yoink! I'll be taking your land now. And handing over your... Sh your Temples and all that good stuff. So we do want to uh, vassalize Savoy because while they don't have a huge number of cores, they are very high value provinces. We could do with taking without uh, without aggressive expansion. Is it, is it ninety? I think it's a hundred percent reduction. There we go. Uh, in aggressive expansion from from the reconquest CB in Mayo, which makes sense. Like it, it doesn't make much sense in vanilla that you retake land that you just lost and it's like, oh, they're aggressively expanding. <laughs> Well, not really. <laughs> not by any sensible definition, anyway. Navy here. We got easy numbers. I might as well send in these guys. Since they have nothing better to be doing. 
Oh, this was the second half of an episode, so we've gone long, but that's okay. Thank you ever so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll finish up the war against Castile and then, uh, and then mull over our next targets. Probably clean up Naples, all that kind of good stuff. I shall see you next time. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please like the episode if you liked it.